Hi, and welcome to the second and last video in the outline series. The previous video covers how to use the outline pane to structure and navigate your document. In this video, you will learn how to manage the outline layout by filtering the displayed items and adjusting different layout settings. Once you have a complex document with many auto titles and bookmarks, it can be a challenge locating what you need. And this is where the filtering tools come in handy. So Mellow offers three available methods to filter outline items. First, you can filter items by text. Simply type the text in the box and the items are filtered in real time as you type. Second, we can click the marker icon and choose a desired color to only show items that were marked with a specific marker. You can choose more than one color and any item that were marked with either of the chosen colors will be displayed. Lastly, click the tag icon and choose a desired tag to only show items that were applied with it. Again, you can choose more than one tag and any items that include either tag will be displayed. Now for changing the layout, you can change the layout of the outline pane using any of the following tools. We can hide or show it using view, outline, pressing command shift plus O, or clicking the Show or Hide side panel. You can resize it by clicking and dragging the border or resize side pane button. You can click this button to either list tag flow items separately from structural flow items or together according to their location in the text. And you can show or hide comments by clicking this button. Want to change the font size? Choose Melel Preferences from the menu bar, click the Document Setup tab, and use the Outline Font Size pop-up menu to choose the size you'd like. Mello allows you to customize items in the outline pane so that their format is different in the outline compared to the document area. So for example, you can shorten some words, eliminate item numbering, or eliminate titles entirely from the outline. In our document, you can see that auto titles in the document have an accompanying number, while we've discarded these numbers in the outline. If you want to learn more about changing the appearance of auto titles in the outline, check out the auto titles video series. Really, seriously, there's some good stuff in there. So this concludes the last video in the outline series. And you should now be able to customize the outline layout by filtering the items and adjusting whatever preference that meets your personal taste or needs. We definitely recommend that you view and try the corresponding tutorial to practice what you've just learned. So go ahead, click the link below and give it a try. So that's it. Mellow's outline really is a great tool to help you get organized. You should now be able to use the outline to structure and navigate your document, making sure you properly structure your document before putting any content in. Want to find out more about Mellow? Go to our features pages and check out more resources there to learn Mellow inside and out. And as always, we appreciate your feedback, so don't forget to add your comments to this video.